What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp Dynamic Components tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to create doors that open and slide using dynamic components. So today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is my detailed step-by-step -step training for SketchUp that allows you to go from start to finish learning how to use the program. So within the course we've got over 14 hours of training as well as a community forum where you can ask questions and our live calls where you can actually get on calls and ask questions live. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. I'd love to see you inside. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a door. I'm going to speed this piece up, but just so you can see how I group everything. And so in this case, I'm going to make the door leaf its own component. I'm going to make the door frame its own component. And then I'm gonna combine both of these and make them a door component. So if we were to look at these inside of the outliner, you'd be able to see that we have a door component with a door frame and a door leaf component inside of it. And so now what we wanna do is we wanna go in and we wanna adjust the dynamic properties of this component. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna right click go into dynamic components, and we're gonna adjust the component attributes. All right, so what we've got is we've got our door frame and our door leaf. And what we wanna do is we wanna add an attribute to this door. And in this case, we wanna add the attribute of onClick. And you can see how onClick is basically gonna run a script file, meaning it's going to do something when it's clicked on with the interact tool. And in this case, we wanna go into our functions and we wanna scroll down and notice how there's a list of on-click functions down below. So if you scroll down, you wanna look for the option for animate because what we want is we want this to animate an attribute of an object um, based on different states. So in this case, a zero state and a 90 degree state. So we can click on this right here and then click on the button for insert in order to insert this into this cell right here. And so remember, what we're doing is we're animating the attributes that we can find in this list. Specifically, we want to animate the rotation along the Z axis right here. So remember the name of that is ROTZ. And so in this case, what we want, and I'm going to reinsert this, is I want to animate the ROTZ state. And I want it to start at zero degrees. And I want to animate it when I click on it to a state of 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna type in 90 here, and we're gonna delete out all of this extra. So now, what's gonna happen is when we go to Tools, and we use the Interact tool, which is the tool that allows you to interact with dynamic components, it's going to rotate our door 90 degrees along the Z axis right here. And so, notice how, at the moment, we're having a little bit of an issue here of the door kind of rotating through the wall, right? That's because this is rotating this along the object axis right here. So what we wanna do in this situation is we want to double click in here and we wanna set the component axis to be in this location right here. So instead of rotating it based about this point, we wanna rotate it around this point. And actually I think it's gonna be this point right here. And in this case, I'm just gonna click, click, and then click out of here and click on the yes button. So now, if we use the interact function, this door should rotate around that point. And notice how it actually isn't doing that right now. And the reason why is because I adjusted the overall component axis, but this is trying to rotate around the door leaf object axis. So we don't wanna set our component axis, we wanna set our door leaf axis. So we wanna click all the way in here and then set this axis based on this point right here. So just click, click out of here, and then we're gonna go ahead and say yes. And now, if we run the interact function, you can see how that's gonna rotate based on that new point that we set. And so, once you understand this, you can do really interesting things with animating attributes. All right, so now we've got a window 
and let's say we want to animate the window panes moving up and down. Well, we're just going to do something very similar, but in this case, instead of using the rotation function, we're going to use the on click to animate this where it actually adjusts the Z value of the window pane. So I'm going to right click, go to dynamic components and click on component attributes right here. And notice I have this broken out into an upper pane and a lower pane. And so let's start by adding an on click for our upper pane. We want to go find that animation function that we used before. So animate right here. And we're just going to click on the insert button. Remember, in this case, we want to animate the Z value, not the rotation Z, just the Z value right here. And we want to animate it between two different states, right? So what we could do right now is we could type in a value of zero, and then we could type in a value of negative 36 and delete that out. And then I'm just going to tab out of this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the interact function in order to move this. So notice what this does is this moves your window down. And so now we have a window that moves, but notice how this is a little problematic because it's moving down like this. Well, that's because this is moving this object to a Z coordinate relative to the actual object axes. So if I was to click into this object, you can see how the actual object axes are down here. So what this is doing is this is moving this based on that location. So we don't want this to animate from zero to negative 36. We want this to animate from the X location relative to that point. So in this case, the X rotation relative to that point is actually going to be, this is at three foot two and a quarter. So that's going to be 38.25. And so we want to animate this between 38.25 and zero, right? So now, and remember to click out of this group, by the way, if you don't do that, then things just act a little bit funky. But, so notice how now, what this is doing is this is animating between that location of 38.25 and a value of zero. And this is off by a little bit because obviously we don't want this to be sitting inside of our window frame. So we just need to adjust that second value. So we're just gonna adjust that second value by two and a quarter. So it's gonna be between 38.25 and 2.25 right here. So now, if we use the interact tool, this is going to move from that upper location to that lower location. So then we can do the same thing with our lower pane, right? So the lower pane can be set so that it moves up. So we can just do the same thing. We'll do an on click, add that function, a Z value. And in this case, your first state is going to be 2.25. Your second state is going to be 38. 0.25. We'll delete this out and we'll hit tab. Well then, if we use the interact function on that one, right here, and so that one is going to slide up and down. So now you have a dynamic component where you can adjust either one of the window pane locations just like this. And so you would do the same thing with something like this pair of doors, and this is probably a little large for sliding doors, but it ought to work okay for what we want to do in this example. You're just going to go to dynamic components, component attributes, notice how we have a right and a left leaf. Well, in this case, we would animate an on click with the animate function. But this time, we would adjust this on the X axis. So we would animate based on X. And real quick, for this right door, we would animate between a value of four foot two inches and a value of two inches. So the animation would be animate X fifty two. I'm just gonna tab out of here. Now if I interact and notice how again, I need to make sure that I get outside of that group, otherwise the animations work kind of weird or outside of that component. But now that door is gonna animate back and forth just like this.
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or what you'd like to see from Dynamic Components next. If you're interested in learning more about SketchUp, make sure you check out the course at thesketchupessentials.com slash course. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.